of course taxes when you apply taxes taxes are on on every sales so you collect taxes on date by date every day until at the end of the year and the end of the year you submit all the taxes to the government right so yes your liabilities also increase from time to time but the balance sheet when you make balance sheet it shows you the position of the company when you make that that's it it doesn't tell you the future sipade yeah i yeah i kind of get where you're going okay yeah. so it it's, it doesn't tell you what is the future but it tells you what is the company position right now right how much you have to pay to the owners or to the outsiders and how much the business worth is that's it yeah so it's more like how much do you owe than how much you have already paid by now remember this this concept that we talk about here mm. we are talking about company we talk about that we will talk about the accounting with company's perspective right and when we talk about the company we treated its owners differently and company differently for company like for company it's asset how much big the company is right for owners because company belongs to owners right but owners view the company as how much the shares we control and how much the outsiders right and who are those outsiders the company must owe to them some amount right for example these are the payables or liability holders loan payables tax payables accounts payables or suppliers money that we have to pay salaries right if we didn't pay if we paid then that automatically deducted from income statement if we paid that become our expense that is going through income statement that would won't show in this equation balance sheet assets is equal to liabilities plus owners equity if we didn't pay that become our liability be that we have to pay later right so yes case, i got it yes so for on company's perspective how much the worth the company has for owners perspective the how much share the owners have in the company and how much the company have to pay to the outsiders or insiders and then we talk about its different applications right yes thank you okay now let's talk about in detail the balance sheet we talk about that assets is equal to liabilities plus owners equity right now let's talk about the assets and what are the uh, what is the definition of assets all the resources the company have right so in accounting we segregate the assets into current assets or long term or uh, current assets and long term and fixed or fixed assets so what is the definition of current assets in some books you find out fixed assets other name is long term asset and the current assets right so the definition of current assets is that whose life is less than or equal to 12 months or less than or equal to 1 year right so the exact definition is current assets are expected to be converted to cash sold or consumed during the next 12 months or within the business operating cycle if longer than 1 year 
in in normal circumstances a business or a company's financial year would would comprises of 12 months and that is called the business operating cycle for example uh, uh, you know every country has its own business cycle so that's why every year the budget announces right so this year you know government is expe expected to collect this much taxes and this much would be spent on budgets defense budget is like that so in normal circumstances like 99% the year comprises of financial year comp comprises of 12 months but in some circumstances it is for more than one one year so for that purpose the current definition the, the, the current assets definition changes to the accounting cycle of financial year that's it but normally the definition is that current assets are those whose lives are less than or up to one year that's it so what are their categories cash and cash equivalents right let me just remove it then short term investments accounts and notes receivable inventory prepaid expenses so what are cash and cash equivalents cash you already know that if you are in china the cash would be your uh, yuan if you are in japan the cash would be yen right if you are in america the cash would be dollar and equivalent means like gold coins silver coins or the money market instrument for example checks drafts right money market in you know instruments if you happen to learn from introduction to business or some basic finance sure. it is money market things yes what did you what did you write next to checks like what did you drafts. checks and drafts checks okay. drafts drafts yeah right we call this cash equivalent it's very close to cash so that's why we combine into one head cash right the next one is short term investment what does it mean it includes stocks and bonds of other companies remember not your own you buy your own shares no other companies that the company intends to sell within next year right you have extra cash and you you and that cash is the like of no use for like a year or less than a year so why to waste that opportunity you invest in a bank or you buy a bond or you invest in stock exchange but your intention is that you are going to sell within a year that's it then accounts receivable or notes receivable let's talk about this account receivables are your customers right customers means and these are those customers to whom you have credit sales right so your customers you sell the goods and the customer says okay we are going to pay you in 30 days or maybe 60 days or maybe 90 days maybe 45 days maybe 15 days right they didn't pay you so all those customer that pay you in cash they are not your receivable because they paid you in cash then you it will be in cash account because you receive cash so cash will be recorded in cash account right so remember when we talk about the account receivable it means we are talking about all those customers that has to pay us the money because we sell them goods right and that transaction would be a credit sales right notes receivable it is exactly like customers but in, instead <clears throat> if you look at the just wait a minute okay notes receivable 
So nodes receivable are our customers, but the difference is because if we are allowing our customer to pay us back after 30 days, right? Then it creates a disadvantage position for the business. In some cases, if we allow our customers to, you know, more credit time, then we also say that, okay, let's make a deal. We can give you some kind of a loan. For example, if we sell you 4,000 worth of goods and you have to pay us 90 days back, so the business can say that, the manager can say that, what if we sell on cash and save our money with the bank for 90 days, we can earn some interest, right? We are giving you goods and you are paying us and after 90 days back, then also some, you know, give us some kind of interest. And the customer is, you know, say that, okay, you know, it's fairly logical. I will give you $400 interest after 90 days. So, so this kind of agreement, they make us, you know, they have a sign here. They write down the amount. Also the interest and all, this would be a company name, customer company name, and they give you a note, right? And that note, you send that note to the customer's company and they give you 4,400. So this kind of arrangement, we call that notes receivable. It can be long-term, it can be short-term, but no, normally it is a short-term, less than one year. So everybody understand that account receivable and not receivable.